all right so this is the pixel 6 pro and the march security patch plus the march feature drop for 2022 went live for it last night could not cover it as asap covered most of it with my pixel 4a and its video especially about android 12 l or 12.1 you can check it out in the card over here so i'm gonna keep it aside for now and tell you about the feature drops which i did not include in that video for the march 2022 so with that said, this is Shreyas and let's take that out. Alright, so obviously all the Android 12 L features are here. Again, I would recommend you to check out the video in the card over here to know about it. So you can see the quick wallpaper switcher over here which works really well and it looks really good in 120Hz. But keeping that aside for now, let's get into the feature drops which are specific and a lot of them are exclusive to the Pixel 6 series as of now. So first is in Snapchat. So when you go into Snapchat, so you can see over here opening the app and going into Snapchat, you can see a moon icon over here and that enables night sight and it really makes a difference it takes kind of the time you would expect from a night side photo and the results are good enough like almost like from the main camera so that's a nice thing now the next thing is about caption during calling now for this i will make a call as of now all right so once you have received the call it is very important to enable live captions i am keeping it on speakerphone over here so that it might be audible and i'll keep my so you can enable live captions from over here in the volume button you can see the other person has call captions enabled please start speaking so now if i start speaking it should be audible over here and it should caption everything that i'm saying and you can see how it's turning out to be looks almost pretty good too good to be true not just that there is another trick to this you can open the keyboard over here and type in your replies which will again come into the voice over here hit send okay let's try this again just send it so you can see quick suggestions for it as well which is awesome and it works pretty well so if you are muted and you cannot speak someone and you have taken someone's call this can be really useful glad it worked so now you can go into sound and vibration go into live caption and you can uh, you have to turn on this type response during call to enable the key keyboard features which i just showed you also you have types of voices so here are some examples i will turn up the media volume hi how are you doing today hi how are you doing today hi how are you doing today so the other thing which came up was about stickers so if i do so if i just type happy birthday party emoji so now you can see that a custom sticker has been made and it says happy birthday if i type in my name then you can see the sticker suggestions over here so if i click those you can see there's our personalized stickers with the name included in it so these were made on the go so I can just send this particular sticker and this is another level which you can enjoy at least in Google messages. I'm not sure if this is Gboard specific or not, but in RCS, it does definitely work. All right. Next is if you go into li live caption again, there are a few more languages that are supported. So Spanish has been recently added that has been a part of the feature drop. So the recorder app also transcription can support a few more uh, languages. You can see the additions of Spanish over here as well. And I believe Italian has been added recently also. Now, the next thing a lot of people liked was the battery widget. Now to enable the battery widget, you go into widgets, scroll down all the way to settings. So you have something called as set, uh, setting services over here and under that you have the battery widget. So let me quickly show how the battery widget looks. You can see over here the battery widget is stacked up and let me pair some Bluetooth device. So these are my uh, WF1000 XM4s. So you can see the Google Fast Pair pop up. Then they get connected. And once they do, you can see the case battery percentage, left earbud and right earbud. So not just that, if I just take the left earbud, for example, and pop it into the case, 
you should be able to see the percentage of the earbud that is outside the case which is pretty cool and not just that let's say that these are paired now if you tap anywhere near the earbuds on the, this widget you will go into the bluetooth menu which will take you to its particular menu if you go into the pixel 6 pro and tap here it will go into the battery menu of the pixel 6 pro in the settings menu so this is something really nice it's been customized pretty well going into the linked menu from the widget itself was pretty smart another small thing that has gotten added is the fingerprint animation now you can see a glow around the fingerprint let me put a wrong fingerprint so that you can see it for longer so you can see this glow around the fingerprint sensor which was not there before so this has been a little uh, animation added to the fingerprint sensor with this particular update as well now the next thing is special about the pixel 6 pro it has a really good haptic motors and because of android 12.1 or android 12l haptics has been enabled in a lot of the ui features which i will try to replicate and show you in a video right now make sure to wear headphones so that you get the maximum impact of it and enjoy it even more